All right, what's good, y'all? So today, we're gonna be checking out the doors. And so, you might wonder why. Um, so, as someone who's really never consumed any rock music in, in their life besides, you know, some Beatles in the background growing up, you know, of course, I think when you have a father who um, really loves them and grew up in a time period when they were popular, I think, or at their heyday, really, I think it's natural to hear some in the background. But besides that, I've never really listened to what I would consider rock music. Like, obviously, I think most people who like music have consumed some amount of rock music. But, you know, as someone who spends most of his days listening to Young Thug and Playboy Cardi, I don't think I'm consuming a lot of rock music. But I heard this song, um, People Are Strange, on TikTok, which is such a weird place to hear it. But um, I heard it, and I was really fascinated because I really enjoyed it on the little clip I heard and that's so I listened to on Spotify quickly went into my playlist and I've loved it the last few days and I thought to myself well you know why not go check out an album of theirs so I looked into it and I found out you know the best album apparently of theirs is The Doors you know as it would suggest it is their like title album based on their name and um I just interested to see what happens I don't really know what to expect Besides, I hope this a lot of music is like Life is Strange. So I love, or not like People Are Strange, because I love that song. But I want to say, to be clear, this is not a like reaction or review where I think my take is smart, where I think my take is like you should listen to it. This is a novice. I don't understand rock music. I don't know about rock music. I just thought it would make good content if I record myself listening to it for the first time. I don't think this is going to go well. I don't think I'm gonna have a good take, a good opinion, but I think it should be entertaining <laughs> nonetheless. So, strap in and we are going to check out the first song called Breakthrough on the, I just call Breakthrough in parentheses to the other side. Let's check it out. I really, really like that song. Um, I definitely think it edged more on the side of like their radio kind of. It might have been their single for the project. I don't know. But I really enjoyed it. It just felt very much like a radio song. But that's why I liked it. Like I, I think the reason I like People Are Strange or a lot of like the Beatles music is because it's such like a poppy rock song like it's so like meant for the radio and meant for like a larger audience and i think it's easy to consume and so i like that first song a lot because it felt easy to consume it was just nice and calm and i enjoyed it not calm and like you know what i mean <laughs> either way we got soul kitchen next it's to go kitchen um i think that was just really fun i think this is probably something i'll mention a lot throughout the project but i really like the dynamics like it's, it's something very normal but i really enjoy how much the band is clearly using or clearly is choosing to use a lot of dynamics and a lot of movement in their music i never feel like we're like staying at a stale point for any period of time i think that's probably what makes this album so good and why when I looked into like what I should listen to this popped up a bunch it's probably because you, you can't get bored listening to it there's so much change there's so much evolving in every song I don't think I could get bored anyway we got next song is the crystal ship Before you slip in. it's a very different song that almost felt like I don't know some kind of ambient song or like it was very different it had like really calm cool bits at the beginning and then built up to this huge ending that was really cool though i, I think it definitely showed like a different side of what i expected to start you know i don't as someone as, as i mentioned at the start i'm not used to consuming a lot of rock so the fact that it was something new it's definitely expanding what my like opinion of what rock is because i i don't really have an archetype or an idea of like to pin down what rock is rock could be many different things to me for all i know i haven't consumed enough to say this is this is this is rock so 
to me, that's awesome to hear something that is rock and is different like that. So that was cool. Okay, next we got 20th Century Fox. Okay, this is what I tend to associate with. Okay, that was 20th Century Fox. I wasn't as big a fan of that one. I think it was a little bit too much like stuff I'd heard before. Something about it, it felt very vanilla in a way. I think it was, I don't know. It just, it didn't feel new. It didn't feel exciting to me for some reason. It was cool. It's just, it, I didn't like as much as the other songs. It didn't feel very new. I'm, I'm not sure why. I, <laughs> I, I can't, it's hard to explain why I dislike stuff. You know, I'm not Anthony Fantano. I don't, my opinions aren't so objective. It's just, I, I think I didn't enjoy that song as much because it felt more basic, felt more, more vanilla. Anyway, next we got Alabama song, parentheses, Whiskey Bar. So I'm expecting something a bit, um, maybe more country, maybe more smooth this time. Okay, I did not I expect those, like, horns. Okay, that was a really interesting one. I... Once again, don't know how I feel about it. There was some like purposeful dissonant feelings in the production and like some really interesting things going on production wise with like that bell and all kinds of stuff. It was really cool, but I just don't think I would want to listen to it again. Like I really liked listening to it in terms of like I can check it off my bucket list kind of thing, but like. I'm not gonna play that on the daily, I don't feel like. It was kind of interesting. It, it, I'm not, well, I was not a huge fan of that one. All right, now we're gonna check out Light My Fire. So I see that this is a seven minute song. Hoo wee, I do not know what to expect from this. Jesus Christ, seven minute. I mean, not plenty of musicians have put out seven minute, 10, 15 minute songs, 40 minute songs two-hour songs, but, like, I'm not sure it's really something I want to consume in an album format, usually, but let's go ahead. All right, that was Light My Fire. Um, I think, sadly, the issues I had the start of the song before I even listened to it did ring true and it kind of this song kind of breaks the rules I even set for the project at the start or towards the beginning which was that I was feeling like the instrumentation was really interesting and changing up a lot and I felt like you know things weren't getting boring because of that but this song just bored me really quickly like a minute in I was bored the and how the instrumentation it changes but the basis of the instrumental the keys stays the same the pattern of it stays the same basically the whole time and that just became infuriating by the end of the song because i'm just hearing the same sound for seven minutes and it just it's really tiring at that point i think i think vocally the song was good but i just wasn't impressed really overall by the song especially in terms of the instrumentation so let's move on to next we have Backdoor Man. Let's go ahead, see what, see what, how goes it. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, that was Backdoor Man. Um, you know, I liked that song. I, I definitely enjoyed it. I think it was worth it to have it on the record overall, if I'm trying to get all Oh my god, I'm a record snob, which I'm not at all. <laughs> I have no knowledge about this shit. But um, I, I think that song is worth it to have on the record. But I think I liked the first few songs more in terms of like just what I would want to add to my playlist, what I would enjoy more. I like the first few songs better. Like the first, I'd say, three, five songs, like especially the first three, I all think were really good. I really enjoyed those. I think this song just isn't as good as those, but it's not bad. It's kind of just like a medium cut off off the record. Um, I don't know why I keep saying record now, but uh, let's move on to End of the Night. 
I definitely like that song. I think it was, I don't know, it, it was just fun. It had a nice, smooth fit to it. It fit exactly what I wanted. You know, it wasn't as, like, mainstream sounding, which means I kind of feel like it probably wasn't going to fit on a playlist, or at least, I don't know. Something about, like, the first three songs, I don't know if it's mainstream. That's just how I'm interpreting it. But something about those, I, I feel like, are the most, like, I just want to add them to my playlist. Like, they're the most fun most like exciting but i think that was a good song like i i, I definitely like that song I, I respect it completely like that was a good song for sure i think i think it was well made well produced everything uh n not like my favorite by far on the record but like i definitely liked it um i know i'm kind of like giving a vanilla ass take on that song but it was just like it was good like i i admit that it was good but it wasn't my favorite at all um all right next we have take it as it comes Another two minute song. So I'm thinking of the last song. Let's check. Yeah, the last song's 11 minutes long. I was wondering how we were filling out this thing to the end. Okay, I see now. Okay, that was Take It As I Come. Oh, that is. Did not mean to say that. Take It As It Comes. That's funny, though, that I said that. That's very funny. But, <laughs> but no, um. I really like that song. I think that kind of personifies um, what I enjo am enjoying about the record as a whole is what happened in that song. You know, there was a lot of movement um, in the instrumental. There was a lot of stuff happening, a lot of change, a lot of stuff evolving. It didn't stay stale at all. And then vocally, there was a lot of space. I, I enjoy it. Like, I wouldn't want it to just, you know, be... Uh, completely the instruments but also I like that there's a sp there's space you know there's not constant singing on it there's space for both parties to have their role and their part and I really like how that's used how that space uh, is used and I think that was fit very well in that song uh, okay now on, on to the last song called the end this is 11 minutes long 12 almost god damn All right, so my opinion of that song was totally different from the other long song. I've already forgotten what it's called even, but the seven minute long song, uh, Light My Fire, I was not a fan of at all. I was like, okay, this is whatever. This is just, yeah, it's way too long. It's a bit boring. Like we're repeating the same thing. I loved this song. This song, the end, it was amazing. <laughs> like I sounds like I'm kidding because of how I talk, but like it's actually, it was so good. Like, how it evolved, the talking in it, the message, everything about it was really good. It was just pleasing to the ears as well. It was just nice to listen to. Like, it was just awesome. I loved that. It was just great. Okay, let's now start to wrap up my thoughts on this. Because, you know, I, I want this to have some semblance of um, a story to it, some semblance of, uh, you know, my thoughts overall. So, what did I feel after listening to my first The Doors album? Um... I thought it was worth the listen. I really enjoyed it. I think there were definitely, definitely felt like any artist I've listened to where just because this album was amazing, it was hailed to be this awesome thing, doesn't mean there weren't songs I didn't like, but also that there were songs that I did really like. You know, there were some songs that I think were awesome, some songs that I wanted to save, some songs that I want to listen to more after this, but there are also songs that I was not a fan of and was kind of like, eh, on. But also I've had that experience with basically every album that I've ever listened to. I've never had an album where I'm like, every song is amazing, even albums that I absolutely love. So I, th I think that's just a natural experience, but I think this does definitely make me want to get into more rock. You know, I, I enjoyed what I heard, and I, why wouldn't I want to hear more of it after uh, enjoying it? So definitely think this was a good album. I don't really feel like giving a rating. I'm not normally a big fan of that, especially in something I'm not experienced in. But I think it was for sure worth the listen and a nice experience to have and um let let eh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you guys let me know what you want me to check out next if there's an album you want me to uh listen to next uh by whatever doesn't matter 
what genre, what anything. I'll tell you my, the only thing I know about really is hip hop, but I'm happy to listen to anything really. I don't care if it's like house metal or something. <laughs> yeah, uh, so thank you guys so much. I ho hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe because it really helps me out. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.